everybody, Ann here, sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you. It's going to be a very quick video today. I've got a lot on my mind, lots lots going on, um, but I did make a trip into town, got to my post office box, and I picked up a couple of really awesome things. One of them is from Karen B., and she wrote me a nice little note, and I know I didn't do this this time. I'm just... <sighs> I'm kind of cranky, I guess you could say. Um, but let me read you this note. These are just in case you get more freezing weather, and we are going to get a little bit more. If you don't, you are prepared for next year. Blessings, sweetheart. Love and hugs, Karen. Alrighty, more handmade goodies. She made me another beautiful cap, and these are very, very comfortable. And two more of these little things you put around your arm. Very pretty. They match. Look at that. And one more beautiful cap. And it has a little sewn on thing that says handmade. This is absolutely gorgeous, Karen. Thank you so much for looking out for me. It just, it means, it really means a lot. It does. So thank you, Karen. Um, the next one is a little Easter card from Margaret Heathcote and her mom. And she sent another nice donation to the channel. Let me see if I can get this out with one hand. Oh. There we go. Um, let me take that nut out. It says, Across the Miles at Easter. She sent me an Easter card, and it is so pretty on the inside. Although the dis although the distance keeps us from bringing close together, the special bond between us just uh, stays just as strong as ever. And so this brings a warm hello across the miles to you with a loving wish for happiness today and all year through. Have a wonderful Easter. Love, Maggie and Mom, Minnie Heathcote. <laughs> that is just the sweetest thing. And then she wrote me a little note, too. Just a little something. Miss Anne, just a little something for you. Have a great and happy Easter and a St. Patrick's Day, too. God bless you, Maggie, Mom, and Minnie. Thank you so much, Maggie and Mom. Papa's over there. I gotta tell you something about him in a minute here. Um, this means an awful lot that you would think about me at Easter. It's been a while since I've got an Easter card, so that of course is very, very special. And thank you for the donation too. It would be put to good use um, because <laughs> Papa has another issue. You know, he had just been um, out you know, running and, uh, you know, defecating out in the woods. And I wasn't really examining his stool. So now I take him out on a lead because he's got to get to him used to going out and um, being on a lead. And uh, I noticed that in his stool, he had a tapeworm segment. It was in unmistakable. So I called the vet and they said, um, oh, poor Papa, he's, he's cut up on this little twig. Um, He's, uh, he's gonna, he, it won't interfere with his treatment that starts on Thursday. So we're going to treat him for probably all the worms and whatnot. I mean, he was tested his first appointment. He was negative then, but he's not negative now. I can tell you that much. It's a month ago and he definitely has tapeworm. So we got to take care of that too. Um, and that is going to be an extra expense. So your donation, Margaret, is going to help take care of that. So thank you so much. Um, I just, like I said, I just got a lot going on right now. There's some weird stuff that's been going on around here and it's, it's kind of bothered me and, um, I haven't been sleeping well and I've been having some really, really weird dreams. I had one last night, woke up at 1 AM. I had gone to bed early just so I could get some sleep. And, um, it was, it was a really disturbing dream and it was, um, somebody, somebody else had come up after dark again knocking on my door and um it was just a a weird looking creature of a man um it wasn't the, the the squatter it was somebody else and he was just stumbling around and acting erratic and he was getting in he's reaching in like through the window somehow or through the door I was trying to keep the door shut um I was trying to get my phone to work and my phone wouldn't work um I couldn't get it to you know, get to the point where I could dial 911, and then there were sounds coming out from the back, so it was just a bad dream. Um, you know, that other night that I dreamed that I heard the three pounds on something, I mean, it, was, it wasn't like an animal, it was like a, <laughs> that sort of a thing. Um, so I don't know, um, I, I need to maybe reposition the 
um, trail cam. I need to um, get that out there. So uh, just see what's going on. You know what I mean? And last night the the emergency alarm went off. I couldn't see anything. It was probably just a raccoon. I've had a raccoon out here before. So that's probably what it was. But um, so I don't know. I think I'm going to, you know, take a, a little time away, take a little break from making videos and just concentrate on this dog and get rid of these stressful feelings and thoughts that I'm having right now um, and enjoy, enjoy doing some projects around here without having to worry about filming. I'll be back in a few days. I'll let you know how Papa's doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but just know I've got, you know, some stuff on my mind. I've got a lot going on. And um, the love and support that you guys have showed me on this channel has just been very meaningful and very important to me. So thank you all so very much. Um, I think I'm going to close this video out here and I will see you in a few days. That's all I got for you now. See you in the next video. God, why do I always have to say that? for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.